Hi everybody, so sorry about that. Uh, I wasn't on Wi-Fi and I ran out of data. Um, I hope everybody makes it back. It's going to be a different video. Um, I'm just going to run over to the computer and share it. If you want to share this yep. one, Jennifer. Um, sorry for all the technical difficulties I'm having tonight. Oh good, somebody is there. Hi Jackie! <laughs> No, that means you're there. Oh! Okay. Hey, thanks for messaging so now we know that we're here and that you can see us. I'm glad we're back too, Gabrielle. Yay, I love that name. It's beautiful. It's Jackie. And Donna, she is our winner hey, from uh, last week. Sorry about that. I wasn't, I wasn't on Wi-Fi and I ran out of data. I used up a whole whack load of my data for nothing there. Um, Brittany, thanks for thanks for coming back. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so I was just saying um, uh, our segments for tonight. We've got our regular segment, um, Trailblazer Tuesday. We're gonna shine the light on some women who inspire us. As usual, we'll have our try it on segment. I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna try on yet, but you've picked two things. So maybe your two things will make up for my my one thing if I don't end up doing one. Um, Kim, hi, thanks for joining. Jennifer, nice to see you. Um, these are some of my customers that have been customers for years. Um, awesome. Yeah, long time uh, uh, loyal customers there. I appreciate you so much. Um, Clients are the best. Right? You know, keep yeah. us going, guys. Yeah, you yeah. Keep us going. For sure. Um, so then we're going to have, uh, we're going to pick this week's uh, prize winner. Um, who get a 30% discount on anything they want. It's the same prize as last week, and it was so well received, and I got so many shares on, on last week's video. So 30% off, you know, any one item that they choose, regular price or sale price. Awesome. Um, so we're going to pick our winner, um, and then we're going to talk about upcoming guests. And here's the thing, I have no upcoming guests. Um, so I was going to uh, invite, if, there, if you're a customer of Sexy Plus and you just want to come hang out and do this with me, or if you're a business owner and you have a product that, excuse me, that everybody just must know about, um, then please, you know, get in touch and you can be my guest on the show. Um, so, um, looking gorgeous this evening, ladies, Jackie Bebou, is that a French name, Jackie? Bebou. Um, welcome, it's the first time I see that name, so I don't know if it's your first time joining. I appreciate you being here. Um, Oh, Gabrielle, is it your birthday? She says, great way to spend my birthday. Um, oh, I know oh, Katarina Chad. and Chad, Chad. All these uh, new, it's, it's cool. With every, like my brother. With every new, new guest that I have, there's all kinds of different people that, awesome. you know, are introduced to Sexy Plus Clothing. And then all my customers and fans are now introduced to, you know, you right. and Lady Luck Pinups, right? So, um, hi, hi, Katarina. Katarina. You're beautiful. Isn't she? So and it's so funny, she's so confident too. I'll send her pictures like that I've taken of, you know, stuff for the store. I'll send it to her and she'll she'll reply, Gosh, I'm good looking. Good. I'm like, indeed you are. Hi Patty. <laughs> she says, Bet boo. Lol. <laughs> like Hi, about thanks ladies for the love. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Patty, thanks for joining. And remember everybody, please share this video on your personal timeline or on your business page and then come back and comment here, shared, and that's how I can capture your entry uh, to win the prize. Otherwise, if you just share it, um, Facebook doesn't give me all the entries, it doesn't show me who shared it, so you gotta come back and just comment shared. Um, so let's get into the Trailblazer segment. I'm so excited for my Trailblazer. Can I go first? <laughs> my Trailblazer is uh, Sarah Taylor, and so I'm gonna show you her latest picture here. Um, so this is from her latest blog. Sarah Taylor is my Trailblazer Tuesday. What? Yeah, she's. Uh, I've got a lot to say about her. Um, and this is a photo by Elliot Parrott Photography, very talented photographer. And uh, on this one, she was doing like a fitness and uh, you know plus size active wear feature. Um, so most of you know Sarah as one of the um, beautiful plus size models that works with me regularly and models uh, for Sexy Plus. Hi, Lisa. But, um, hi, Lisa. <laughs> um, but Sarah is so much more than that. 
Um, she was also former uh, Miss Plus Canada. Uh, she works with all kinds of uh, brands internationally, featuring plus size clothing, um, plus size activewear, which has been for her um, kind of a staple as part of her journey um, is being active. Um, she features beauty products, lifestyle products, and she recently started doing um, videos on um, her beauty regimen. She posted it, I think, today or yesterday. Uh, I think it was, yeah, it was yesterday, uh, and I loved it. I think she did such a great job with the video. She's natural. She's such a natural. She's so cute and adorable. And what I loved about her video, too, like, I, do, I um, search for Google videos all the time. I don't know about you, but, like, when the furnace breaks, I'm like, hmm, yeah. let me just Google that yeah. and see if I can fix it myself before c calling somebody or, you know what I mean, like, uh, you know, what else are the benefits of garlic, whatever, you know what I mean, stuff that you Google, and then you find these you know homemade videos and bloggers and youtubers and some of them take like half the friggin video to get to the point and I'm like oh. <laughs> you know what I mean yeah. so what I love and it seriously it drives me nuts um, so what I loved about Sarah's video yesterday is that it was so concise there was really no unnecessary no yeah there was really no unnecessary annoying chatter thank you Sarah um, hi Jody um, yeah so I loved it and I think she's a natural and I think that she's going to do um, great with her uh, videos and um, as I was preparing um, you know my content for tonight's show um, hey we've got 27 people watching isn't that great thanks everybody um, as I was preparing the content for tonight's show and I was going through Sarah's website to get some content and some of the pictures um, her website is friggin fantastic it's beautiful uh, aesthetically She's got such diverse content on it on there. Yeah. Um, like for example, here's here's another um, picture from one of her blog posts. I can't remember the title of this one, but this is her with one of her friends. And um, see here. Mm -hmm. And so um, you know, it's about yeah, it's about um, you know coming to terms with your own body and to stop trying to find you know quote unquote perfection whatever perfection is, and so, um, you know, how very courageous of, of Sarah to do that, you know what I mean, like, you know, most of us would, you know, be like, oh, I don't want to do that, I don't want to, you know, show my belly, and, you know, evil. definitely, <laughs> she's very, very, um, awesome, you know, Sarah. courageous, um, and, uh, yeah, I just think it's very courageous to put something out there mm. on every single social media channel on the internet, it's going to like live there forever, right, um, thanks for sharing Jody. Um, Teresa, thanks for coming back, sorry about that, yeah, I, I wasn't on Wi-Fi, so I used up all my data for nothing, um, <laughs> bram, bram, bram. Um, so about Sarah, uh, she's also um, the assistant editor for Fadu Plus magazine, um, are you familiar with Fadu Plus, I'm yeah, sure. have you been in it? I haven't been in it. Okay. Um, working on it. So yeah, get in touch with Sarah. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, so get in touch with Sarah, um, maybe or even Shannon, um, the editor in chief, and you know what I mean. See about yeah, doing a, a feature on you in there. Um, Sarah also volunteers. She's a motiv <laughs> motivational speaker. Um, hey, Keisha, thanks for joining. And Jenny, that's the first time I Hi, see Jenny, your name. I know Jenny. Marin. Long time ago we met. Uh, Marin is my mother's maiden name, so um, Jenny must be French Canadian or have French Canadian background, right? Okay. Do you know? I'm, I'm teaching one of my customers at Shopper somewhere. Okay. That's how I remember. Jenny, that. are you French Canadian? Tell us. <laughs> um, and I bet you people say Marin, but it's Marin, right? Mm -hmm. um, anyways, uh, so Sarah, yeah, so Sarah is an example of a woman who perseveres through um, risks and challenges and consistently pursues her goals. Um, she is courageous, generous, professional, smart, driven, kind, empathetic, uh, super beautiful. She's always been there for me, uh, no matter what the project is. Uh, she's, she's, she's yeah, she's like 100%, 100%, whatever you need, Steph, I'll be there, um, personally and professionally. Um, and I'm so lucky to work with you, Sarah, and to be able to call you a friend. I haven't seen you join, so it's so unfortunate that you're missing this live but um, you'll catch it later. I um, just want to show another picture here. You know, this is just a fashion blog photo. I'll show you first, Jennifer. This is natural. It, yeah, beautiful. Like, um, this is uh, 
photographed by Robert Suge, I believe, and uh, I just love the diversity, right? Yeah. So she can go from, you know what I mean, the underwear to this, and then she can go, you know, to total glam, too. Um, it's that. The babe. And I mean, you know, it, it, we say she's a natural, but when I started working with Sarah, um, posing wasn't necessarily natural for her. Um, some people Sarah have a knack for it and some don't. And, yep. and with Sarah, she had to practice and practice and practice and, and like go to her website, sarahtaylorsjourney.com and just check it out because you can tell that that perseverance, that practice and that belief in yourself you know, and you can see the journey and the evolution of where Sarah Amazing. is now. And uh, I'm I'm very lucky to work with models like her and Katerina and others who aren't um, that I can't afford them <laughs> anymore. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm sure Katerina and Sarah are going places. Um, you know, and I'm lucky to be working with them at yeah. the ground roots level at this point. You know. Um, yeah, so Sarah, here's to you. You're my trailblazer. Um, her website is sarahtaylorsjourney.com. I'll put it in the video description afterwards. Um, um, Patty says, have to get back to work. You guys are awesome. You can watch it later, Patty. It'll be on the page. Um, <coughs> Sarah's Instagram is um, at Sarah Taylor's Journey. Um, her Facebook by the same name. And YouTube, just search uh, Sarah Taylor's Journey. You'll find her there. So, Jennifer, tell us about your trailblazer. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. So my trailblazer, I the only person I could not the only person I think the first person I thought of is my mom. Um. Uh, my mom is amazing, as I'm sure all we all feel that way about our mothers. Um. But what makes me proud of being my mom daughter is what she's been through. She was a single mom raising me and my sister uh, for the longest time. And I'm sure that was not easy raising us, well, me especially. Um, but when I was in high school, one of the main things is, when I was in high school, that was in the 80s. That was back when Ralph Lauren was in and all the chaps, like all those expensive clothes. My mom she couldn't afford that stuff, but guess what? I always had it. And to this day, wow. she'll stop and she'll look at me. I don't feel like I gave you enough. I said, Mom, you gave me everything. Yeah. Um, I never felt like gave I... Gave you the most important things, right? And let's just say, you know, all aside, money and stuff aside, what she gave me that's the most important thing to me is who I am. I am a younger version of my mother. It's funny how you grow up and you're like your dad or you're like your mom. Well, I didn't really know my dad. My mom left him when I was five for a good reason. Um, you know how it is. But my mother gave me all of her goodness. I have a huge heart thanks to her. Sometimes I don't always, not always a good thing to have a big heart, but um, and she gave me respect, she gave me dignity, and she gave me the power and the will to want to help other people. And that's why I suddenly leave up because Honestly, if I'm having a bad day, if I just help somebody else, it makes me feel better. And that's with Lady Luck. I put myself aside. I give myself good stuff every now and then. But, <laughs> but it's all about helping others. That reward, that, yeah, that feeling. So let's see, you have a picture of your mom. This is my mom when she was 12 with her bike. Aren't these pictures precious? Like, you know, some so many of them get lost over the years. Yeah, this is and amazing. this is really precious, yeah. Isn't that amazing? She was 12. Look at that picture. And it's so oh. nice because, um, excuse me, last week, um, Megan and Kat, um, Megan's um, trailblazer was her mom as well. And, uh, and then we started talking about my mom, and then it just turned into kind of like a January 17th Mother's Day. Um, so here's January 24th Mother's Day. Um, for, for Mrs. McCready, I, I gather it's No, that's my married name is McCready. My, okay, you want to hear my maiden name? It's Ididin. It, 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 it is. I D D E N D E N. But my mom, oh my, my mom's maiden name, 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 name was Temple. Name, name. <laughs> in high school, it's no in the in the I'm like, really? <laughs> no, that's great. <laughs> that's how they remembered my name. Mine was Frogestein. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> this is my mom three years before she had me. Um, she and lived in Anubis. Anubis. Imagine living in Anubis. Um, this is my mom on Christmas Day, just this year. Um, and she is the most beautiful woman in the whole entire shush day. I knew you'd have fun with that. It did what? It did what? <laughs> Clean my face. This is my mama. Now, um, the first thing she said when she saw the picture was, Oh, I'm so white and I look old. And I'm like, Mom, you're 77 years old. Look at you. The things that this woman... Ugh. Just as women in general, we are so hard on ourselves. And, um, you know, what I tell women who come shopping here over and over again is I don't think it's realistic to, I don't think it's realistic to expect any woman to just be like, I'm great in every single way, every part of me is friggin' flawless. So That's kind of impossible. Like that, but, you know, I don't know. I don't, I mean, I'm always, not, Everybody always has something. Nothing. Everybody always has something. And that's realistic, though. But the healthy way to address that is to balance it with uh, a positive self-talk as well. You know, and, and, and I think that I've gotten to that point where, um, you know, I may put something on and, you know, uh, you know, my belly is where I carry most of my weight. And I've, you know, said this over and over again during these shows is that, you know, I'll look in the mirror. Okay, yeah, this dress shows my belly a lot, but look at how it also shows my hourglass or yes. um, how great my boobs look or um, whatever. You know what I mean? You have to, when you look at yourself in the mirror, you have to be like, you know, okay, I don't like my arms in this one, but wow, look at whatever else. You have to. You have to. It, and that's in, 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 in a whole, in your whole life, focus, try to focus on a positive, and that's what Jen's been doing. Right. Speaking to myself and third party or whatever you talk. Um, I've been teaching myself to be much more positive and yeah. when you look in the mirror, you know what? I am beautiful. I have nice eyes. I like my blue hair. I like my boobs. And if you must, you know, yeah. criticize one area, um, <laughs> at least, at least do yourself the justice of also affirming another area that you do like. Yeah, you got it. Even if you feel like you're faking it and you're forcing it at first, you still got to do it. And like you said, mm -hmm. it can apply. Uh, to so many things in life. So, you know, uh, let's say, for example, me as a small business owner, January is a bit of a slow month, you know, financial pressures may start to, uh, you know, close in. Um, but I'll be like, okay, well, that's the reality. But there's also the reality that I love where I work, um, that I'm really good at what I do. So just try to, um, you know, practice that mental technique of balancing it out. Yeah, everything you know? happens for a reason. And, yeah, just don't be so hard on yourself and just surround yourself. The most important thing you guys can do is surround yourself with people who love you. Two of the people that, that do that for me are watching right now. Chad, Chad and Amanda, I love I can you tell. guys. And I can tell Chad because he says if my share wins, uh, Jen takes the win for her business, right? I wouldn't, so. I wouldn't <laughs> be here without those two people. And, like, the first thing, you've got to surround yourself with people who love you for you. I'm 44 in July, and I'm done. I'm done with you. Just you gotta, you gotta respect yourself and love yourself enough to know what your work is. And I started doing that around in my 30s. Is uh, it's not the quantity of friends that you have, but the quality, right? So, quality so I'm quantity. like, if this person is not a positive presence around me, uh, then that's it. Eliminate, boop, eliminate. Um, Surround yourself with good people only. Yeah, so thanks for sharing, guys, for your support. Um, thanks for opening up and sharing about your mom and the people who love you, Jennifer. Um, I saw you doing something <laughs> on your phone. Did you want to share a picture of uh, that? I just thought there. Funny. This is um, back when I did my very first test run photo shoot for Lady Luck. I went out and bought this huge pink background. I'm like, I can't uh -huh. wait to do a photo shoot on uh -huh. a pink background with my life. And I'm going to find a model, and I'm going to get a model pin yeah. up, and I'm going to have an old table, and old phone. So it was very stressful because being a photographer is not always easy. And when you're learning lighting and you're, you know, you want yeah. to do something so bad, I threw myself into it. I go down to my friend's basement. Clive, if you're watching, I'm so grateful for you for letting me do that. I went into his basement. We do this photo shoot. And with my friend Ardeen, if you're watching, thank you, Ardeen. Um, but I needed to test the light. So yeah, you I, need a subject. I, I don't know if you can see this, but my husband 
Was no, it's too. It's a little bit too bright. Oh. Oops. Oops. Wait. I know let it's me hard see here to if you see can, on phone. You can see that. There we go. So there my husband go. Warren decided to be my test subject, and I thought I'd just point out how great it is. I love. <laughs> I love that pink backdrop, by the way. Is it awesome? I just ordered one I for my little makeshift one. studio in the back. I'll show you after. I ordered oh, a um, pink tone-on-tone -tone damask print. Ooh, so, like, soft tone-on-tone awesome. tone with a fake pale hardwood floor. Oh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <Fun>. Right? <laughs> Come play in my studio one day. We'll have fun. Right? Um, <laughs> let me just get the light back here. More flattering. Right. Yeah, exactly. Not too bright. Um, Jenny says, that's awesome. What a great hubby you have, right? Yeah. The support of people around you, too. I was saying that to my husband uh, just yesterday, um, is that when you have a uh, symbiotic or symbiotic, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it properly, relationship with your partner like that, um, you know, is that you're, you're, you're making each other better and stronger, um, and happier, right? Like, and even if it's like the little things where you have to just remind each other to be grateful, his phone, um, recently died and he had to take like a, you know, tiny little, he had a Samsung and he had to take a tiny little iPhone, uh, as a quick replacement and he hates it. It's small screen and he keeps complaining about it. I'm like, I'm like, Howard, just, just be thankful that you have a phone. Like, until you get a replacement, yeah. can we just appreciate the fact that you that started. you do have this one? And he's like, ah, you're right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, quit complaining, right? Um, so let's get to our next segment. Um, we talked about our trailblazers. Uh, let's try stuff on. Um, I didn't pick anything, so I think I'm going to actually... Um, I think this is awesome. uh, uh, but I, 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 I don't know. Yeah, there's so much stuff here, guys. Okay, so... Um, do you guys want me to try something on? Jeanette Richardson, hi ladies, awesome. Thanks for joining. Um, so Jenny, I don't know if we lost you earlier. Marin, your last name is the same as my mom's. Um, are you French Canadian? Let us know. Um, and thank you to everybody who shared so far. Um, Jackie says yes, she'd like me to try something. Yes. Donna says yes, but of course you guys do. I'm your puppet. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Okay, fine. Okay, All right. So I think, I think, um, okay, I'm going to go pick something. So I'm going to put you the in. behind Jen, Amanda said. Hey, which one? Um, the floral mm -hmm. one. Um, I know, I love that dress. The you draper? Dress. Um, it's already been tried on on a show. That, though, yeah, show. Jody tried that one on on a previous show. So I'm going to try to pick something new. Married name. Okay. I'm Polish. Okay, so... Is the married name French Canadian or is it Polish? I'm interested because um, my mom's is, um, you know, from Quebec. Um, she says the floral one. Okay, I'm gonna try one of the floral ones, but not the one behind Jennifer, guys, because that one we tried it on in, in a previous show. I'm gonna try it on the Whitman, I think. That yeah. one right there. Yeah, nobody's seen that one yet. So I'm going to go try that on. I'm gonna leave you in Jennifer's hands just yeah, for a moment. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Okay, perfect. I'll be right back. Hi guys. So, hi. Hi. Okay, I'm gonna talk to you guys. You can ask questions throughout if you'd like. Um, well, Steph's trying on dresses. She said, "Well, you gotta talk about something." So I'm trying to think of what to talk about. I mean, I have a lot to talk about. Anybody who knows me knows I have a lot to talk about. Hi. Um, <laughs> she like do a dance. I'm like, yeah. Hi, Brian. So nice to see you. Okay, so I'm going to talk about a couple different things, if I can get, if I have time. Um, the one thing I'm going to talk about is keep an eye on the Lady Luck page in these next few months. I have some really awesome things going on. What I want to say, the number one thing I want to say right now is Lady Luck is more than just pin -ups. Um My business is focused on women. Now, whether you want to do a boudoir shoot, you want to do a glamour shoot, you want to do kind of, you want to run through the forest naked. I don't care. That's what it's about. So whatever your vision is for your photo shoot, I want to make it come alive. If you look at my page, I've done everything from zombie, thanks to Chad. Um, he airbrushes people to be zombies. I should have brought some pictures of that. But go on my page and you'll see. Um, and it's about all sizes of women. Not just plus size, not just thin, all sizes of women. 
Um, that's what Lady Luck is about. Um, I'm, unfortunately, um, I have been told recently that it comes across that I only support plus size women, which is so not the case. It's about all sizes of women. The people who walk into my studio are unlike anything, anybody else. It's, it's unreal. I don't even know. I get so messed up with my words because there's so much for me to say and so much I want to say to you guys. But I'm going to just calm down now. Okay, she's almost ready. I'm ready. Well, she's ready. <laughs> Look. So what you can do is just rotate the box. Look. Ooh, hi, everybody. So this is me in the Whitman, and it's a new arrival from Beautiful. Uh, Unique Vintage, Beautiful. and I'll back up here a little bit so you can see it. Uh, yeah, it's quite a perfect fit. It's very um, molded molded nicely around like the bust. the way it fits up here. Yeah, like a beautiful, this is not quite a, it's a bit of, it's kind of a sweetheart neckline. I like it because you can still wear your bra. Yeah, my bra is still under there, because safely out of the way. Big girls, the yeah. strapless bras don't always cut it. Yeah, and then it's got nice pleated detail here. Sorry to put all my bosom in your face there. <laughs> so it's got this nice pleated detail and these beautiful buttons. And here's like just an example of the craftsmanship is that they're, oh, the yeah. buttons are actually in the same fabric as the dress. Um, thanks, guys. Um, it, and and the quality of it's amazing. Yeah, it's a nice, like, thick um, um, cotton. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the arms are nicely shaped as well. Do I have the zipper all the way up and back there, yep. or is it? Yeah, so it's got this nice V shape in the back. Oh. Look at her bum in this dress. It's wonderful. You gotta, you gotta say what you're thinking, people. <laughs> I don't ever hold back. <laughs> right? So, a really, really pretty dress. Um, the prices on Unique Vintage are pretty great. Um, about, I think about one, I think this dress is 139 or so. Um, it's pretty good for the boobs too, like, you know, like if you're thinking that it's not a very it's sexy dress, cute. you can still be sort of sexy and have, and because it's so nicely fitted in the bust, it actually, um, here, I'll show you guys. Because it's so nicely fitted in the bust, it actually, it almost feels like a corset. It's like it's holding them it's, in. It's holding them it's up. Holding it's, and, and it shapes you, yeah. So, um, yeah, so this is the Whitman, and uh, it comes in size um, 14, 16, and 1820. Unfortunately, this manufacturer, which is Unique Vintage, um, doesn't make beyond that size yet, but if, you know, the... 14 to 20s of us out there support their it's their stuff size. well enough. Yeah. It is true to size, yeah. Um, they will, you know, if we support them in the plus size sales, then they will make those bigger sizes. So we just, I'm pushing for us guys. Yeah. Um, what if you don't have a large bust? Um, well, I mean, I, I think that, um, I think it would still be okay. I mean, I'm kind of pushing it. Like I'm kind of stretching it a little it bit here, I, it, but not too tight. <clears throat> and it depends on your comfort level too. I kind of like it feeling like this. Yeah. Um, but it, but you would still be fine if you didn't have a large bust. I think. Um, Jenny likes my cleavage. Thank you. Um, so I'm just gonna go change. I'll leave you back with um, uh, Jennifer once again. I shall be right back. I'm a fan of that level of cleavage. Me too. I shall unzip you. Oh, oh, it stuck. Okay, it's not long. That's okay. We got stuck on me on there too. Is that good? Is that good? Yeah. We got it. So yes, keep an eye on Lady Luck page over the next few months. I'm going to be doing some pretty amazing projects. Uh, one specific one, I'm going to be working with a wonderful friend named Lori with about five or six artists in the Niagara St. Catharines community. And I'm not going to give up too much, but it's just You'll hear all about it when it's going to be a big launch and a big gala and everything to go with it. Um, but the whole project is going to be around non-judgment. Um, and yeah, I have another project coming up too that some of you have already kind of worked on this project with me. Um, I'm going to have some really good news for those people coming up soon. It's okay. That's all I got to say. Um, but yeah, I... 
just want you all to know that Baby Luck is more than just pinups and it's more than just plus size, it's all sizes. It's about women, period. Because all of us women need to feel amazing. And uh, you know what, it's not just plus size women that get picked on and have a hard time. I have a lot of thinner clients that have a hard time as well. It's, um, it's not just about one specific genre. Yeah, I think it's a challenge that we were saying earlier in our 10 minute non-broadcast um, that <laughs> it's, a, it's a challenge for women in general, not just plus size women. Sizes. Yeah. You were um, the story. Mary, you're asking if we need any models. Um, uh, I'm always willing to consider new looks for sure. Um, so if you want, you can send some um, professional images to uh, me on Facebook through the Sexy Plus Clothing Method or to me personally, Stephanie Augustine on um, uh, Facebook or through the website contact page. I'll be happy to take a look. Um, yeah, so you can go try on. So Jennifer's going to go try on one of the two dresses that she picked out. Um, I hope you guys like the Whitman. Oh, that was the other one? Oh, I'm sorry. So, um, while she's trying that on, I wanted to give you a little look at the store here. Um, I hope it's not too shaky or crackly. So I have this wonderful merchandiser. Her name is Stephanie, like me. And she comes in about once every three, four months and does the store merchandising for me. So just look at how beautiful everything is in here. And um, I just wanted to give you a bit of a tour if you haven't been here before. Um, and, and just look at the diversity of selection, right? That we've got, um, you know, funky, designer, cocktail, urban, right? Look at that behind me, like the olive dress with the faux leather and the faux leather jacket. Um, and then you can have like more conservative or appropriate for the office. Um, Steph, there's a lot of static on the mic. Sorry about that, Teresa. Um, I can't hear it, right? I can only hear myself. Um, and I also wanted to show you here our winter sale rack. So all this stuff right here is winter clearance. So there's some really nice styles here um, to pick from. Uh, Ophelia modeled this one last time she was here. I've got quite a few left in that one. Um, Brittany, it depends because uh, Brittany is asking um, what sizes uh, the dresses go up to and uh, it depends because I in order to offer such a diverse uh, selection of plus size clothing I order from many different manufacturers and um, the price points vary and the sizes available vary as well um, so in some of them they, the manufacturer may only go up to a size 20 but then other manufacturers can go up to a 26, 28, 30, 32, and even um, Ijiji, one of my suppliers, uh, goes up to 34, 36. Um, so I hope that answers your question. Take a look at the website or give me a call anytime at the store. I'll be happy to tell you more about it. Um, Mary, yes, we do have lingerie as well. If you go to the website, sexyplusclothing.com, you can click on the lingerie tab and take a look at our lingerie selection there. And Heather is asking, uh, where are we located? So we are in Mississauga, Ontario, and the uh, intersection is Eglinton and Dixie is the main intersection. And again, if you go to the website, you can see on the contact page there um, the exact location and directions. Uh, Jennifer, are you ready? Yeah. So here's Jennifer. Sorry about the crackling there. And she decided to feature the scallop boudoir lace dress um miss uh yeah so it's this is very old hollywood um glamour um you know like uh, vocalist by the piano with a cigarette kind of uh, kind of thing right yeah and it feels really nice and this dress i'm going to try to make it a little lighter for you there so you can see a little bit better how beautiful is this dress i mean Anybody who knows me knows I usually wear dresses that stop here and they come out so they hide my belly. And I don't usually ever wear anything that's a little tighter in this area. I have never felt this way. And I have a lot of flipping dresses, guys. Honestly, 
I never tried on a dress like this ever and, and to die for. And you want to know the truth is that, um, yes, the thing's so hot, so glamorous, divine. Um, and the truth is, I've been selling this dress for the eight, eight years that I've been yeah, in business. Yeah, it's timeless. It's timeless. This manufacturer is one of my favorite. They're called Fiona. Um, and so this dress, I have it in the store up to a 4X, so it's 26, 28. And it goes up to a 5X, 30, 32, I believe. Um, and it comes in this beautiful black nude. It comes in a black black. Um, Amanda Lupin says you need it, sister. I know. Um, and then Mary says bellies are beautiful. Yay, Mary. I agree. Um, so yeah, this dress, and then seasonally they make this dress in a different color. So sometimes they'll make it in a red nude and a navy yeah. nude. Um, yeah, so this is, this is the all-time favorite, the black and nude. Um, turn around, Jennifer. Let us see how it looks in the back. Um, look at that, very nice. And, and even, you know, you were a little bit self-conscious about this area right here. The beauty of this dress is that because of the visual busyness of the, the lace and the nude, it creates like a visual camouflage. You can turn around now, yeah. It's amazing, amazing. And the boobs look great. It shapes the, the, the bust nicely without being all like, here I am, not, you're not right? You're filling out, it's just a nice cut. Yeah. And I mean, black lace, you can't go wrong. Yeah. And the, what I like about it too is the length of the arms. Anybody who knows me, uh, seriously, anybody on here that knows me knows that all I do is wear shrugs. I don't like my arms. So this one you don't have to worry about a shrug. So but another so thing too is if you back up, people can see the nice scallop. That's the reason it's called the scallop boudoir. Do you see that nice um, edge there? No how the lace is a little bit longer than the lining underneath. It gives it a beautiful finish. Um, so yeah, this dress could be for like a performance, for a wedding, oh, for a corporate gala, for so many things. Yeah. I'm getting it for Bailey's wedding. <laughs> okay, she's doing it. <laughs> um, Christine, you're asking how much is that dress? It's 199 Canadian, and it's very good quality too. You can feel it. it. Is. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. Seriously made really, really, really nice. Yeah. It's something that you'll have in your wardrobe so you don't have. No, I, I need for a wardrobe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is there a stretch in the arms, uh, Keisha? Um, there is a little bit, but because it's Fiona, it's very well graded for each size. I've rarely had any problems in this dress um, with anybody. So, you know, and you're wearing the 2X, the 1820, right? It's yeah. And, and she went for the 3X first, yeah, but had to yeah. come to the 2X. Yeah. So Fiona does a, a fabulous job with their sizing. Um, gorgeous dress and such a pretty model, Laura says. <laughs> All right, oh, thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. So she's going to go change and she'll be right back. Um, we have 29 people watching the show tonight, so that's wonderful. Thanks, everybody. Um, <laughs> I'm loving all the comments and all the new faces. Um, so, yeah, so if you, I was talking earlier about um, the winter clearance sale. Uh, if you want to take a look at that. It, the some of the items have been reduced from 25 to 75 percent and i've been getting a lot of online orders coming in so people are definitely taking advantage of that sale um so it's the right time to grab a really fabulous or really scandalous piece or even a designer there's some joseph ribcock designer styles that are reduced on that uh, winter clearance rack um so it's telling me that 50 people have reacted to this video so far. That's very cool. Thanks for all your thumbs up, everybody. I appreciate it. Isn't it pretty? Look behind me. I love Sexy Plus. And I love that everybody loves Sexy Plus. <laughs> I have so many um, friends and supporters that I've made through this business. Um, it'll be eight years this summer. This April, actually. Sexy Plus Coding will be eight years old. Can you believe it? In 2009 is when I launched. And um, I think I'm going to do something special for the eight-year anniversary um, in the fall. I had um, c'est partagé et je participe. Uh, merci Nina, avant uh, Simone. Thanks for joining. Um, Sarah Taylor, you just joined now. Oh my God, Sarah Taylor, you have to you, you have to watch the earlier part of this video because we kind of talked behind your back big time. All good things. <laughs> All good things, right? Um, Gabrielle, would love to visit your store. Well, um, I would certainly would love to have you here. Um, 
I was talking about this this summer is going to be uh, Sexy Plus will be a year old. Uh, well, uh, this April. Um, and so Katarina was saying party. And so in the fall, I decided to have a customer uh, Thanksgiving appreciation of oh, okay. uh, free yeah, corn roast um, in the parking lot. So it was oh. corn roast and pumpkin pie um, for everybody. And uh, we just like because. Um, I gave her like a thumbs up and then I went like that so, <laughs> for, for Jennifer's friends coming back to pick her up. Um, yeah, so because all the other businesses around here are closed, uh, you know what I mean, in the Perfect. evening, we just played loud music and did a barbecue in the parking lot um, and it was so much fun. So I'm going to do something um, definitely in April for the eight-year anniversary. Um, all right, so just a couple more um <coughs> if your friend and your husband are back, that must be we're near uh, the 45-minute uh, mark. Um, so we've tried our stuff on. We've talked about the sale. Oh, okay, so let's do the prize. Um, again, congratulations to Donna Castor. Um, she was the winner of last week's prize. Hey, go DeVar Cooper. Thanks for joining. Um, so congratulations, Donna. This week's prize is the same thing, 30% off um, any item that you want. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, people. <coughs> um, for your entry, just uh, share this video and then come back and comment that you have shared it. And I'm going to ask um, Jennifer to, here's our little um, box of entries. So I'm going to ask you to pick this week's prize winner. How do we win Erin Megan? What you do is you share this video, either now or later is fine. Um, on your personal timeline and then come back and put shared in the comments and then that's how I capture your entry and Jennifer seems to be excited. Who's the winner, Jennifer? <laughs> Jody! You Jody, won! Jody Polak? Jody won! Jody. Jody! I got the pleasure, I had the pleasure of, of shooting Jody and she's amazing. Yes, and I work with her regularly. Jody is one of uh, sexy plus clothing model and she's going to be she here she's going to be here Saturday um, I'm actually shooting her and hi Vanessa um, Jeanette thanks for sharing appreciate it um, so Jody, Kat, Sarah and Ivory um, I don't know if I'm forgetting anybody I think it's the four of them are going to be here on Saturday and we're going to shoot some lingerie oh. um, in my makeshift studio in back. Nice. Um, so so Jody, I'm sure, will use her 30% on you something. Um, Keisha, thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing, Erin. Appreciate it. Um, so congratulations, Jody, on winning this week's prize. Remember to share and I'll capture all those entries. Um, your chances are pretty good because Look, we've got 32 people uh, viewing. If everybody shares, your chances are 1 in 30. So very, very good odds of winning. Um, and then uh, I wanted to invite you, if you are a customer of Sexy Plus Clothing, um, if you've been here, even if you haven't been here before, but you um, want to come and be my guest on an upcoming show, they are every Tuesday at 7.30. Um, so if you want to be a guest uh, and just you know, come and hang out and be my co-host. I'd love to have you. Um, or if you're a woman in business and you have something that you think that we could all benefit from or that I can help uh, create some awareness, I can help promote you, um, you're a woman in business, you want to come talk about your product and co-host with me, um, please reach out to me uh, either on Facebook or by email um, through the website. You can get uh, to my email. Uh, Lawanda Michelle, thanks for joining. We're just wrapping up. I'm sorry you're joining so late, but you can watch the rest of it later. Erin um, says she'd love to come hang out. Great, Erin. If you want to um, send me a message directly on Facebook, that would be awesome. If you know of anybody that you think could benefit from um, mm -hmm. being here, the, 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 the video ends up reaching, um, it ends up, each video ends up getting about 2,000 views Amazing. on average and reaching, however Facebook defines its reach, yeah. 6,000 people. That's amazing. So if you're a small business in the you know, Ontario, GTA, and beyond area, let me help you. And you know all of your friends and family can know about Sexy Plus. Um, so let's help each other. It doesn't cost anything. It's fun. It's so much fun. We have tea. We hang out. We try it. stuff on, right? Um, Mary, right back at you. Thanks for all the thumbs up. Love you guys. Um, shout out again to Jennifer's mom, 
um, her trailblazer, and Sarah Taylor, my trailblazer. And I'll see everybody here uh, next uh, Tuesday at 7.30. Any last thoughts, Jennifer? I have to say thank you to my clients and to my future clients. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here. And more than anything, I thank you for trusting me and for allowing me to get into your life and to shoot you and to bring out the side of you that we all know is inside of you. And we're going to do something together. I don't know if Absolutely. I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to do the pinup. I may. I don't know if I'm going to do the pinup. Um, maybe I'll do sexy, hey. but yeah, we, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to shoot me. Um, <laughs> yay. yay. Thank you. Love you, everybody. Thank you so much. Have a great week. Bye. Bye.